this now. Pop round as soon as I finish work. Don't oh. say Shh. it. Shh. So I'll have to kiss you here <laughs> in the corridor, and that'd be very embarrassing. I get one of the nurses to walk you down. Can you? Got to follow proper procedure. I can't wait to get you out of here. Oh, Nurse Mitchell. Yes. Can you take Mrs. Bevan down to reception, please? Certainly. See ya. He's had two lots of blood taken and an arteriogram. He's been tissue typed and he's been cancelled. Now, if you ask me, there is no way he'd go through all that if he wasn't serious about donating a kidney. Lee, are you listening to what Jay's saying? He's the perfect donor for you, Lee. Everything's right. Now, you're either on dialysis until we can find another suitable kidney. That could be three years or maybe even longer. Or you take what's on offer now. It's the best you'll get. He's young, he's healthy and he's your blood. I know what I'd do. You're 17. And you'd be the youngest person to ever donate a kidney. Certainly at this hospital. I can't guarantee your health wouldn't suffer. You'd have one kidney instead of two. So that if anything went wrong with that kidney, you could end up on dialysis yourself. They've been through all this with me. All right, then. What if it goes wrong? We could do the transplant. And a week later, Lee might reject the kidney. Your kidney. You may feel he's rejecting part of you. So what's new? OK. Gently does it. Is that good? Like a nice lolly on a red hot day. OK. We'll just go over to one side. with a few gentle leg exercises. Oh, I thought we'd do the 100 metres back row. <sighs> what are we going to do with you? Put me in a sack, shake me up and hope something different comes out this time. There's a green stick fracture. There, you can see it. Yep. I thought you ought to know. His teacher brought him in. He found him crying in the cloakroom. Has his father been contacted yet? As far as I know. Well, what have you been doing this time, then, Owen? I slipped. What on? The floor. Was it wet? I think so. When did it start hurting, Owen? At school. Who was at home when it happened? My dad. Do you remember the last time you were here? We did Billy Goat Scruff. That's right, you did. We'll be going back up to the same wall to see Sister Meadows. Would you like that? And Max. And Max. I thought you'd given that up. Well, you can't eat your dinner with that in your mouth. Give it to you. What's the matter? I'm upset. Why? Sam won't talk to me. Well, he won't talk to anybody. I think he's frightened it'll hurt him. He's fallen out with me for shouting at him. Oh, well, we can't have that, can we? Come on. Let's see if we can make friends. No. You're being pig-headed, Lee. So? So? You're talking about your life, stupid. Or will you talk to him? Your mother's right. I don't want anything off either of them. Tomato soup or fruit juice? Neither. Sorry, I forgot. I've got yours. There you go. Okay. Sorry. Do you know what your brother wants? No idea. He likes tomato soup. I'm sick of hearing it. I've had it up to here. So where are you going? What are you going to do? Excuse me. I said... Yes, what do you want? It's me, Mr Crossley. Would you mind signing this, please? Marcus, the right. stop. I want to talk to you. Alone. It's nice to know somebody appreciates you. 
It wouldn't fit anybody else, you see. I had it made specially. That's all. They won't tell you it's going I think to Ms. be. Or who's been complaining oh, please, about this? One I can't at a time. get it. Would you like to sign my petition? What's it for? Well, I've been South Park Santa for 13 years, and now somebody has decided they don't want me to be it anymore. So if you, you can always get me, another Virgin Mary in the Shepherd. They were donkeys years old anyway. Come on, give us a smile. We brought somebody to see you, Max. Hello, sunshine. What have you been doing to your arm? He's broken it. Look, it makes no odds to me one way or the other. I made up my mind the day I came in, and I've not changed it. I don't care about all the other stuff. It's got nothing to do with this. I want to give you my kidney. But if you don't want it, then I'll go. Just tell me. Your soup's going cold. I'm talking to you. I'm not bothered who's listening. I want to see the doctor and I want to see him right now, so you better go and get him. It's all right, Jan. Can I help you? I want to see my son. Are you Mr. Smithson? Yeah. Who are you? I'm Dr. Davis. I examined Owen. His right radius has a green stick fracture and we've had to set the arm. He was brought in from school. Where is he now? On the children's ward at the moment. Right. He was... Mr. Smithson! Mr. Smithson! Get me children's ward, will you? Until every tiny bit of white's gone. We could have just used blue paper. No, I want to do it properly. Not with Ark and all the animals going two by two. I've got a tortoise. Hey, I wonder if Jack's come down yet. Hey, I had to sign a piece of paper saying I thought he should be Sparky Santa. Joking. I'm not. Right. And he's on his way up now. Well, thanks for warning us. Bye. Everybody said I made a good job of it last year. Not now, Jack. I could go elsewhere, you know. Some of these big shops will snap my beard off. OK. Could I have trouble you to, uh... I hope you chuck on your mince pie. I'll make sure he stays in the day room, then. Mm. He's here. It's all right. I'll handle it. Owen Smithson, where is he? Uh, he's all right. He's absolutely fine. Do you mind stepping into the office for a few minutes? Yes, I would. I've come to take him home. Oh, I'm afraid that won't be possible. He's got a broken arm. I know that. I've been downstairs. Doesn't need to be in hospital for a broken arm. There are no set rules, Mr. Smithson. If we think the child would be better off in hospital... Do I look green or something? Look, this is hardly the place, is it? Should we just go What in... have you done with him? He's perfectly safe. We'd just like to keep an eye on him for a couple of days. That's all. Oh, no, you don't. I know what your game is. You'll think I've done it, don't you? Mr. Smithson, all we want to do is keep an no, eye on Mr. him. No, Mr. Smithson, me. I know what's going on here. Well, you're wrong. He fell. He falls all the time. Is everything all right? I was going to bring him in myself last night. Barry said he was all right. He's broken his arm and they're keeping him in. He's got a medical record like someone ten times his age. Some of his injuries are not substantially explained and at least one is known to be non-accidental.